Hello students, this is Neha Mathur and today in this video I am going to discuss number system. Number system is one of the most important topic from digital electronics or uh, logical organization of computers. So before starting the topic consider to subscribe my channel and click on bell icon to get updated for the upcoming videos. Fine. So to, as I told you that our, today's our topic is number system. See number system basically is a set of values that is used to represent a quantity just an, in computers. Just an example if I want to represent number of students present in my class. So number of students that means a specific quantity. In that case I will have to take a proper number to represent the number of students present in a class. Similarly if I want to consider a number of subjects you are going to study in your present class or in your present semester then again I will have to use a appropriate number to represent that particular information. So in computers we have many situations in which we will have to represent any information in terms of a specific quantity and for the representation of that quantity we are going to use number systems. In general we have four type of number systems so I am going to represent them the first basic number system is binary number system. The second important number system is octal number system. Third one is decimal number system. And the fourth one is hexadecimal number system. Now the point is that as a user, as a student, as a computer uh, friendly user, you can use any of these number system to represent your information in terms of quantity. The important thing you will have to take in your mind is a proper base related to individual number system. Each number system has its own specific base or I can say radix. Just an example. For binary number system, I have a fixed base or I can say radix which is 2. So 2 is a base for binary number system. Similarly, for octal number system, its base is 8. For decimal number system, base is going to be 10. And for hexadecimal number system, its base or radix is 16. Now the next thing is. Since for binary number system the base is 2 that means we can represent our particular information in the form of 0 or 1 only. Fine. So any information if you are going to represent in the form of 0 and 1 having base 2 comes under a category of binary number system. Similarly, the next one is octal number system. And for octal number system, we have a base 8. That means now we'll have an option to represent our information from 0 to 7. Which means you can use 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Means total 8 digits starting from 0 and ending to 7 to represent any information having base 8 in the form of octal number system. Fine. Now the next one is decimal number system and in case of decimal number system we have a base is 10 that means we have an option to represent our information starting from 0 and ending to 9. Fine. So we have again total 10 digits starting from 0 and ending to 9 which means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 total 10 digits to represent our particular information in the form of decimal number system having base 10. Same with hexadecimal number system. Now hexadecimal number system which has a base 16 that means here I have two possibilities to represent total information in the form of hexadecimal number system which is 0 to 9 which means I can use 0 to 9 means total 10 digits for the representation of info. Now what about remaining 6 digits because here I must have total 16. 
10 is covering over here and the next 16, next 6 digits is represented by alphabet starting from A to F. Now just an, you can uh, make it more simple like A is represented by 10 or I can say that now 10 is going to be represented by A because 9 is already covered over here, B is represented by 11, C is represented by 12, D is represented by 13, E is 14 and F is 15. So, in hexadecimal number system, for the representation of any information uh, having base 16, we have 0 to 9 means total 10 digits with the help of digits, while the remaining 6, uh, uh, remaining, six info, remaining six digits is represented in the form of characters starting from A to F. So, this is the basic of number system which we are going to use when we are having uh, when we want to uh, when we want to insert any information with the help of computer in that situation that information if information is represented by quantity then we have these four options you will have to remember base or radix for each and individual number system because on behalf of these numbers these these base or radix you will be able to identify a specific number system because here most of the time if you are not using a proper base or radix to represent your information then there is a more possibility to get misconcept about the representation of number system because just an example suppose i am writing any number or i am writing uh, a number of students present in my class and the number is 23 now i am using a digit 2 and 3 to represent a total number of students present in my class now i want to know that to, since i am using 23 as an as to represent my information now i want to know that 23 belongs from which num which number system so you here you have three options that 2 and 3 comes under a category of 0 to 7 that which means it belongs from octal number system family Similarly, uh, 2 and 3 also comes under the category of 0 to 9 means decimal family. Similarly, it also belong, it may belongs from hexadecimal category. So, for the proper representation of my information, I will have to use particular base. If I want to represent this 23 in the form of octal, then I will have to write 8 over here. Now, it is clear for everyone that 23 having base 8 which means I am representing my information in octal number system fine similarly if I am using 23 I am writing 23 with base 16 which means now I am representing my information in hexadecimal form because I am using 16 as a base of to represent my information so this is all about the basics of number system which is going to represent any quantity in computers. Now the next and second important thing is that you must have knowledge about the conversion of each and individual number system uh, among others. Fine. Just an example. You have uh, information in the form of binary number system. Then you must have idea that how you can convert your information which is already in binary form into octal, decimal or hexadecimal. Similarly, you must also have idea about that how you can convert your octal into remaining three. So this is the important thing that if you have your information in any of these number system, then you must have a proper knowledge about their conversion among remaining three number system. So in the next, we are going to discuss the conversion of one number system into uh, among three number system. So now we will discuss their conversion. If you are following my topic, if you are, con if you are following the concept, consider to subscribe my channel and click on bell icon to get updated for the upcoming videos because in the next video I will start, I am going to start the relevant conversions of number systems. Fine. Thank you.